100 subscribers it's not much but it was a big milestone for me thank you for your support and keep supporting and i will do my best to deliver more great tutorials like So many of you ask me how to detect objects other than faces uh, like uh, mobile like chair uh, one of you even asked me how to detect he wants to detect his cat so how can he do that mm, the best uh, answer will be like uh, to use a hard casket uh, classifier but the problem with that is training the classifier is very difficult and uh, takes very much time and we don't have not much lot of uh, these uh, classifier around the uh, internet so after a little bit research i came up with the solution so i have this image of this raspberry pi box uh, cover box and i want to detect this object in my video so i already uh, cropped this image and I have stored it somewhere in my drive and this program will try to find this object in the video so let's see how it looks like so here am i and this is the object so it is using something called sift classifier uh, sift feature extractor and one feature matcher so it's extracting the feature from this image and it is matching where it is uh, where it is in the video frame and it's drawing a polygon over it so i think it's not uh, as good as casket classifier but it's the best i came up with with most easiest way possible so let's see how we can do this So let's go to your project folder and create a new folder. Let's name it uh, Object Detector. And let's create a new file from Python IDLE file. and save it in this in that folder which is in my case tutorials object detector and let's name it uh, object detection or let's name it shift object detector okay so let's start our program I mean let's start the coding so like in each and every uh, open CV script we need to import the CV library and the numpy library And before going forward, I let me explain this a little bit. Uh, okay, so okay, so what we have to do here, we have to uh, get a sample image 
which is called training image uh, image in a predefined folder second is we have to create a feature extractor we need to create a feature extractor create feature extractor and third we need to create a feature matcher feature matcher and lastly we just have to draw a rectangle on the detected object draw the boundary okay so first thing we need an image uh, in a predefined folder so let's create a folder here uh, we are going to call this a uh, training images training data and here I am going to place the image so I already have the image means I already have a some sample images you can create your sample images just make sure that image uh, only contains the object you want to recognize so crop everything other than the object okay so I'm going to use this one uh, let's use this one okay let's use this one uh, and paste this image and name it training image or train image let's say okay let's go back and now we have this one check now we have to create a feature extractor so let's create a feature extractor the feature extractor we are going to use is called sift which stands for here scale invariant feature transform and this is uh, this tutorial is also compatible with surf which is uh, stands for speeded up robust feature so you can either use sift or you can use surf the difference is sift takes uh, a little bit more time to calculate the features but these are more accurate features uh, and surf is more faster but less accurate mm. so in my case you can use either of them so let's create a feature extractor I'm going to call it detector equals cv2 dot FT sift and if you want to use surf you just replace this part with surf and that's it that's the difference here in the code oops okay so we have created the uh, feature extractor yeah it's that simple now we have to extract the feature using the feature extractor let's make it check first and Feed it, uh, feed it to the feature matcher so let's uh, first create the feature matcher here the feature matcher is we are, uh, that we are going to use is called fl fl a n n based feature matcher so let's create that fl a n n BACD matcher it takes one some parameters which we are going to define before uh, initializing it let's define them 
apple a and sorry params equal it's a dictionary actually dict and here there are two types of uh, parameters here algorithm that this uh, extractor feature matcher we're going to use we are going to use fln index kd tree Algorithm equals it is called F L A N N index underscore K D T R W K D tree and the tree value equals five. This is the parameter. But the thing is in uh, OpenCV library, this uh, flag is not initialized or uh, this flag is not inbuilt. So we have to define this uh, flag which is actually 0 uh, so we can actually write 0 there that is also fine but it's better to uh, know which flag we are using and uh, you can check the value of the flag from the OpenCV document okay so we are done with the initialization now we have to feed this parameter in the in uh, constructor and we have to give a empty dictionary there it's actually a open bug so it's fine we are ready with the feature matcher now let's get the training image loaded in the program so for that we are going to use the OpenCV IM read TRA train image equals CV2 dot IM read and here we are going to provide the path which is in this case this folder slash the file name training data slash the file name the file name here is let me copy this paste it okay so but uh, we need this file to be uh, in grayscale means this is a color image we want it to be uh, black and white or in more general it is called grayscale so if we give zero there it will become a grayscale image means it has uh, it doesn't have any multiple channels so now we loaded the image let's calculate the features or extract the features from this image beforehand so that we don't have to calculate it every time in the frame so let's uh, train key point okay let me tell you first that this detector will return a variable called key point and a descriptor so key points are basically the coordinates where the it find the uh, feature and descriptor is the description of that key point let's say this is a key point uh, where uh, let's say okay let's say this corner this corner is one key point and uh, how big or small this feature is that will be or what is, what is the direction or orientation all this information will be stored in the descriptor so one is the coordinate and one is the descriptor so for the training image I want this variable to be named as train key point comma train descriptor equals detector detector dot now this will detect and compute the description so it is called detect and compute
the input image is this one let's give it there and the mask the second parameter is the mask which is we are not uh, giving any mask there so give it none only one parameter is enough 